Hello guys, welcome back. And uh, this is our computer lab test. So let me explain what's going to happen today. So for the last two weeks, we've been talking about the hardware aspects, which are really important for anyone who is starting out in the computers or networking to know. We talked a lot about computer systems, PCs, laptops, mobile devices. We talked about accessories that are connected with computer systems. We talked about network systems, basically a firewall, a switch, an access point. We talked about ports on those systems and we talked about connections, which would be wired connections using cables and wireless connections. Okay, so here is the objective for today. So you will see two sets of equipment on the table. You have this equipment here, and you see a set of equipment that is over here. So right now, I want um, Alex come actually sit over here, and Michelle be in front of that equipment over there. Yes. And let's move these chairs out the way, because we don't need them. Okay. So here is the requirements. Both of you guys are in a single building in a single room, which means you guys are shared tenants. Basically means that this is an office space that you guys conduct your business and you have to share the same office. Kind of like sharing the expenses of that room. Okay? Okay. All right, make sure I get all my little equipment here or my little notes here, I should say. All right, so here is, so Michelle, you're considered as customer B. And here is basically a little note that reflects the equipment that you have and that you need to connect everything together. Your customer A, you get that, it has information about the hardware that you have and how that should be all connected. Now here's the key thing. I am your service provider, the internet service provider, and this here is my equipment on the ISP. On there will say basically which port you need to connect to based on your customer in order to access the internet. Okay, so that is basically everything that is required. Therefore, you may proceed and get started to build your network. Go. <music> Okay, so everyone is done. So let's get down to the solution. So again, when I talk about working from the top down, that means from internet, firewall, firewall switch, switch, and the computers, okay? So I know that customer A, that their port is zero, zero, okay? So you have a white ethernet cable, that's correct. And it is connected to the, to the correct port. Fantastic. So if I follow the cable, I see that it's plugged into some random port. It needs to be plugged into the WAN port. That's why you have no internet access. So I need to disconnect that, put that into the WAN port, and then we're good. Now, the firewall will connect into what device? The switch. Into a switch. Okay, where's the switch at? Right here. Very good. 
that means that it's going to follow this white cable. Well, that's also plugged into a random port. That needs to be plugged into the LAN port, which was not plugged into. Now, they, these ports could work if they're configured, but we talked about LAN ports, we talked about WAN ports, and to utilize those ports if they exist on the hardware. So now, from the LAN port, we see that goes right into the switch. Now, this is acting as a core switch, or a master switch, right? Yeah. And basically, at this point, everything connects into this device. So I see that you have an access point, okay, that's plugged in into one of the ports. I see that you have the two computer systems, the laptop and this little Apple device uh, with Ethernet cables plugged into it. The laptop has an Ethernet cable plugged into it, that's correct. For the accessories, I see that the USB drive is connected to one of them, that's fine. That's the whole point of knowing how they are connected. And this one has the microphone, the USB microphone, and a USB mouse that is all connected. So the main thing here was that it was not connected to the correct ports on the firewall. Now for customer B. So for troubleshooting, we do exactly the same thing. So we know that customer B has port 01. So that is connected to the correct ports. Very good. I follow the cable and I see it's plugged into a random port. So that needs to be plugged into the WAN port, but I see that the WAN port is plugged into the laptop. That's very creative, but that will never work. So I'm gonna disconnect that and plug that into the WAN port. Good, and the WAN port is what kind of port? Ethernet port. It is an Ethernet port, very good. So now we got that taken care of. Now, the firewall needs to connect to what? To a switch, very, very good, okay? And that means that so that's connected, but that's connected to some random port as well. And they not even connected, see? So nothing will work anyway, even if it was the right port. So that should go to the LAN port. Please make that correction. Plug in all the way to hear like a snapping sound. Hear that sound? Yeah. Sometimes it doesn't make that sound, but just make sure it's in there fully tight. That's really important. Sometimes people do connections and say it isn't working. We'll make sure that there is an actual connection. Sometimes it'll be a light that actually will flash. Okay? Um, this is not needed. This is connected to the laptop. I'm sorry, to the computer. Now, this will work. Okay? So don't think that plug into those, but I want you to use only this switch to um, connect everything together. Okay, so now that connects to the switch, that's correct, LAN port. And that means that this laptop needs to be plugged into that switch, so let's do that. Better good. Okay, and we have our um, PC computer here though. Okay, not even fully connected, so that's not gonna do anything. So let's make sure that it's fully connected and not coming out. Very good. And let's connect the other end. And where should that go? In here. That's correct. And to the actual switch. Perfect. All right. So we have our microphone. And our microphone itself is connected. It's a USB that's connected to the laptop. That's perfectly fine. Uh, you, have one, you have a very old type of USB drive but that's connected correctly. You were attempting to connect to ports over here. Okay, those are different kind of ports. Those were not USB ports, by the way. Okay. And a Bluetooth mouse, basically, there's nothing you can do, assuming it connects by Bluetooth over there. Okay, and that is it for our lab. So we need to do another one of these labs, probably in the next couple of weeks. But this is kind of really a good thing of what we need to work on. That drawing diagram pictures is good, but doing it in real life uh, produces different results. So that means more practice and maybe in the next follow-up video, we'll have a very clear thing. And the key thing with this is basically practice. It is all practice.
But this is one of the big things that's really, really important for young kids starting out is just learning about the components, learning how they should be connected, knowing about the different types of cables and ports. That's what's really, really critical just for learning at an early age. Not about how to configure it, nothing like that. Because I see a lot of people, they know everything about Fortnite or Roblox or things like that. They know nothing about how these things are all connected. So that's why it's important that this is one of the first things that needs to be taught, which is the hardware aspect, before you get down to the software aspect about operating systems, applications, and things like that. And that is it with this video. And until next time, keep networking.